Whoa, look at that one. Holy crap, changed my mind. We're going in. Hopefully we can get back out. Southern Colorado, you better hide your gold. Once the snow starts flying in the high country, I have to head south, sometimes Arizona, New Mexico, Southwest Colorado, and search for gold. Today we're gonna explore a couple spots I eyeballed off satellite imagery. Three of these will look like digs I couldn't see on the satellite. I could see disturbances on LIDAR. Now this is one massive down tree right here. I see in the distance right here is our first test pit. What do we got? I'm seeing some quartz. Now this is always curious. Um, it looks like we have a shaft or a test pit here. We'll look at that in a second. But right here, above it, there's nothing here. And then there's a pile of rock. It's like an island onto itself. So this is curious. Let's look at this first. Here we got some big old white quartz. And it is showing some pocketed mineralization. This is a really good sign here. These might be some of the nicer pieces that came out of the hole. You can see this quartz looks more like smoky quartz now. Here we got some quartz, some more heavy mineralization. This piece right here has a blob, an inclusion of what looks like magnetite. And interestingly enough, looking up here, look at that. This is an old claim post. Then it's sharpened to stick in the ground. It's laying on the ground. I know this area is currently not claimed. So more than likely, now that I think about it, this post probably sat right there. And that was the claim post for this claim at one time. Who knows how long it's been out here. So let's take a first look at the hole here. Going in on solid rock. Solid rock. I don't know if I climb down there, if I can get back out. See really thick quartz there. We got mineralized quartz here at the surface. Here, here. More of a fractured quartz, which is always a good sign. This quartz crops out right at the surface, see that? And it is mineralized, so more than likely, this is what they first saw here that was just poking out at the surface you can see another piece over here there's more there here 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 and it cuts up somewhere over here possibly up this way definitely have quartz here more pegmatite looking stuff this juts off into this direction here and then we got solid a different type of bedrock over there Okay, this hole's making noise because there's these, whoa, <laughs> careful. All right, doesn't look like there's any animals in there. Oh, it's a lot of noise. <laughs> I think I'm gonna hop down in here. Why am I always jumping down these tight little holes? Okay, we're learning though. This far wall, I guess we're gonna call that the foot wall because it's sloping down like this is a banded nice and that cuts across at this plane right there it changes there's something different here now we have that quartz that big quartz vein right here further over on this side we have more brachiated quartz and it's starting to look a little bit more like pegmatite with micas and bigger crystals possibly you might be able to see better from this angle so we got the foot wall and nice dipping down like this and then right over here we have a contact to something else i'm gonna have to go look at it keep coming over and then we have this quartz vein now the curious question of the day is you see this pile of dirt here this is all rock that has been mucked out of the hole is the pile about the same size or bigger than this gaping void right here if the pile's bigger that might indicate that the hole goes down further. Let's uh, drop a heavier rock in there and see if we hear anything hollow. Uh, I didn't like that very much. Uh, let's try that again. Let's try not to hit any of the plants. Listen close. Mmm, I don't know guys. 
that could be a whole bunch of leaf litter and duff just boof. but there's a sizable pile of dirt here i don't know if i want to drop down in there changed my mind we're going in hopefully we can get back out this wall here is that smoky quartz it's all falling apart so long i can get down in one piece and get back out in one piece that's all that matters here goes nothing oh Whew. dusty we made it down into the hole here's that foot wall you can see it's banded nice comes down right here it changes so we have nice bedding plane of nice here and then this is some kind of different rock uh, looking at it closer it really looks like partially iron mineralized quartzite so we have nice quartzite transitions to oh, careful where you step and then right here we have some kind of vein see that break here break here planes all the way up this is a little bit different then it goes a little bit pegmatite -y, and then solid quartz see that solid quartz and then above that it turns into pegmatite again and we got some feldspar so that is pegmatite kind of veinlet quartz vein we have this blue blue black smoky quartz off chance could be a little bit of silver in it above that we got pegmatite let's take a look down here see see what we can see they're definitely tunneling down in on this quartz Ooh. Somewhere here we might have pockets of mineralization because up top we had a couple pieces with some here You can see the red. Maybe that's iron leaching out. Definitely interesting. That's a mica book Yeah, I'm not necessarily seeing any really big mineralization. We do have a couple little pockets it Might be worth metal detecting this area. Here. We have the pegmatite intruding Well, it's definitely something. It's a pretty big sizable quartz vein just because it's not mineralized right here doesn't mean that 100 feet that way isn't a bonanza. Let's try to get out of here now. Okay, Let's see if we can get out of here one-handed. Woo! It's a little scary. And we're free. If we look at the direction of this vein, looks like cuts up here somewhere. And this one, it does cut up to where we looked at it before. Tracing the vein up this way and I see something white here. What is that? Ooh, that's not a rock. This is a carnivore dookie, guys, with bones in it. Look at that. This is a turd, probably from a mountain lion. He ate flesh and bones all together. Look at that, shards of bone in there. Oh man, pretty crazy. We better keep our eyes peeled. Oh man, there's another one. Look at that. That's a big, big cat. There's a lot of fur in there. Holy cow. I say we definitely gotta be careful what holes we crawl into. And then up this way, it looks like that quartz, you know, disappears, but it's just buried by leaf litter and rocks, which makes it hard to see. This big rock outcropping looks like nice here. We got something different here. Then we got pegmatite quartz again. Quartz up here. So either that vein juts into this thing or the vein comes up this way, hits this wall of nice, shoots off into this direction. I see something there in the distance. Check that out. That looks like an old cabin. a little bit of snow holding down here look at that it looks like a remnant of a cougar print but I'm also noticing a bunch of trees cut down here's a big one cut down they cut those trees down to warm their cabins build their shafts the stalls and cribbing in their edits we're going over there there's a hidden little test pit and just past it something silver 
caught my eye. Ooh, almost fell. Right here, check this out. This is a tag that mining companies frequently use. It says sample, more than likely sample F53. Could be associated with this prospect, with this cabin here, that pit we were just in, or something else. Could have blown over here. Tell you what though, that sure is a good sign. Gold can always be found where gold's been found before. There it is, let's go check this thing out. Wow, it's like a lean-to cabin. Make some noise. Don't know if cougar's hiding out in there. Let's come over here. Wow. Look at that. That is pretty darn wild. We have a stacked stone foundation, wall. Let's go inside. Is this the lean-to? There used to be a stone wall back here. Not a total lean-to. These logs at one point were up on that foundation. Let's go on in. Okay. Ooh, I see that. These are parts of an old dynamite box right here. Oh, it broke. Let's see if it has any insignia on it. It must have been blasting something. You got stone chinking on the cabin. Back wall. Front wall's still in pretty good shape. And this is pretty cool. You can see it's hand hewn. Look at all that character. This is hand hewn lumber. I don't imagine they worked this during the winter months because there's not exactly any sort of ins insulation and there's gaps. But man, that hand hewn woodwork is so cool. People pay big bucks for this stuff. Without too much effort, somebody could make this little cabin shack livable again. And in this corner here, that was the hearth. I see. So we had a cooking heating area here came up there's probably a chimney pipe as well this thing's pretty darn cool i might have to make a project out of this <laughs> and do something with it actually now that i'm thinking about it i'm having ideas of rebuilding this thing i need a bug out spot far enough away from my home where no one would ever come thinking of looking for me <laughs> and this spot here the foundation's already set I think we can do something with this. I could build with stone, use as much of this wood as I can, bring in a little more new wood. Before you know it, we have a pretty cherry vantage point up here. 270 degree views and a mountaintop right over here. Now let's go check out the mining activity. Far off the cabin, we got some dumps. Dump, see some wood stuff over here. Oh yeah, look at this, look at this. Right next to the cabin, we got a shaft. Oh man, we got quartz, we got, woo, there's a vein. That's a vein right there. Vein, 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 vein. Immediately we hit a vein. If you can't tell, I'm excited. There's definitely a vein up here and it looks right. It looks right, it looks right. Oh man, that, possibly that. Here's some nice timber. And this here was a shaft. You see this notch on the top of that board? You know what that means? That means windlass. Windlass is a hand crank up and down to bring buckets up and down out of the shaft. Wow, so we got a pretty, pretty sizable dump here. Dump there, dump there. That's a lot of rock moved. And this is the collar cribbing for the shaft. I don't know if it's open or not. Clearly at some point there's a windlass. This is a two by six notched here, notched there, and they would have had a uh, device and a drum with a hand crank through that wrapped with rope so that way they could hoist up and down or rocks and people this is cool this is cool and it's quiet up here clearly you can see this kind of tumbled over maybe this area landslided in so i have to be careful walking around this edge here i don't know if there's an opening so the shaft would have gone down here, but why is this caved in? And why did this tip back this way? But I'm gonna walk over to this side and sneak a peek. Okay, here we do have round nails. Some hand-hewed lumber, some possibly milled. It's hard to say. Down in here. Okay, I'm gonna try to just stand on solid wood. Nah, it's moving. This one's 
This one's pretty sturdy though. Come over that, try to get a peek down in here. So I can't really see. I think, ooh, right there, we do have an opening. This collapsed back in on itself. Who knows where that shaft goes. This actually looks like something uh, one could tackle. You know, if I find some really decent ore here on the dumps, I might want to look into rebuilding this cabin and reopening the shaft. While we're down here, I'm going to take a, take a look to see how big the dump pile is. But uh, we do have a quartz vein. See that? Right here. This here mound is bigger than your average test pit. We obviously got workings going up the hill, but below the main shaft here, we got this and this dump here, along with this dump here. And it being separated into this more white rock over here and this darker brown rock over here tells me that one of those might be straight up dump waste, the other one might be questionable ore. This is a fairly sizable pile. Looking back up though, here we have the shaft. There's this weird kind of rock built thing here. That's definitely peculiar. I see a hole. That could be an animal hole, however. Or who knows? Maybe we had an at it. Or at one point they built this out and had a campfire here or something. Here's a look at that cabin from the other side. Check that baby out. I'm trying to brainstorm and think what I can do here with this cabin. I got an Alaskan chainsaw mill I can bring up here, make some planks and some siding. But upon closer inspection, this is a pretty old working. I think this working was worked at two different times. The cabin here is hand hewn and mainly made out of square nails. We have some round nails mixed in as well. So this could have been right on the cusp of age. Some pretty darn good condition. It's like dry, dry sun-baked <laughs> weathering. But this thing is pretty darn cool. I can definitely see doing something here, especially if the ore pans out to be good. Let's mosey on up this hill. I am seeing some quartz veining. Not a whole lot of that ore. Here's part of an old bucket lip lid. Coming on up. Hmm. Here's an area that's a different color. See that? One color, different color. Let's go take a closer look. What is this? Ooh. This is a vein pile. This is an ore pile, guys. Look at that. Vein, vein, vein. Wow. Quartz. Hematite, limonite, there's some pyrite in there. This is an ore pile just sitting here. Look at this. Wow, this stuff looks good. The vein's not particularly thick, but it looks good. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Here you can see the vein. Here it's even thinner, but you can see the contrast of the white and the host rock. But if this stuff pays, this could definitely be worth something messing around with. Look at that. There's probably a quarter to a third of a ton just sitting here. This pile here is sitting at the mouth of what looks like may have been an added over here. This is interesting looking stuff as well off to the side. Let's hope this is open. We're hitting bedrock. We got nice over here. Kind of looks like a mudstone. So we got this nice and something here in the middle. Ooh. Upon closer inspection, it looks like a schist. This is all kind of sloughed in. The attic would have gone in this way. Let's continue on up, see what happens. We got some black, what is that? That looks like charcoal. Ooh, here's another pit. What's happening here? I see. We have ore down there, cabin over there. Attic came in, they tunneled through here. This was either a pillar of dirt. They went under, this collapsed or it was all dug out this got washed in from above hard to tell but we got solid rock right there so if we have solid rock here that's all intact rock that goes down 
Here we can see, what can we see? Oh, dusty. We got some kind of veining faulting going on. Different rock, different rock, different rock. And here at this face, this is nice transitioning over into what looks like quartzite. More than likely the vein cuts off there. Let's see what's above this. Ah, steep. We got another pile. What do we have here? We have a trench cutting in. Muck, muck. Maybe there's an open at it there. If this was ever open, it's collapsed. Doesn't mean we can't reopen it though. We got solid rock. You can see the angle of the dip here. All of it's sheeting off like this. And down here in the middle somewhere was whatever they were chasing. Kind of interesting banding here. It is quartzite coming down. So that vein's likely traceable right down here somewhere. We're off of this trend, the working's down. And I'm chasing some of the quartz uphill. We grabbed about eight pounds of test sample from that pile down there. We're gonna assay that, see what it comes up. At the upper end, we have some more workings. We can see nice exposed, but it's running in a completely different direction. Ooh, check this out. Look up here. Whoa, look at that. Look at, wow, that's cool. That is very cool. Beautiful quartz crystals on this face here. Look at that. That's pretty neat. That's not what caught my eye. That right there caught my eye. Let's make our way up there. Nice. That's mineralized. Here's the piece that caught my eye from down there. That is exactly what we want to see. Those rock sized pyrites. There's a vein here, real thin. You can see it here, vein. Cuts through this rock and down here as well. So there's a vein, vein, they converge right here. It's off of the main trend workings. So this could be indicative of a vein hiding somewhere, somewhere up here that nobody has ever, ever touched. This spot's got me pretty darn curious. Here's some more quartz. This quartz has little magnetite pockets in it. We're about a thousand feet off of that main workings here. I'm seeing a lot of quartz, but it's not as mineralized but there are pieces like this. We have what looks like magnetite. Ooh, hey now, look at this. Quartz is iron stained and we do have some mineralization in it. And we're way further off those shafts now. Ooh. Actually, this looks very promising. Look at that. Right there, right there, vein, vein. Here's a super broken quartzite with a whole bunch of little stringer cross veins running all throughout it. This is interesting right here. Look at that, boom. Pretty small test pit. Not sure why they stopped. Maybe there's no gold. Maybe the prospector died. You just never know. That looks promising. Ooh, say, ooh look at that. Right there, right there. That's what they saw. This, wow. Wow, look at this. We got a vein cutting across here, 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 coming down this way. This is super interesting stuff. And this just continues off in that direction. Here's more of it. Wow, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take a sample of this and whoa, look at that one. Holy crap, look how thick that is from here to here. Wow, look at that honker of a vein. Now if there's gold in this and it's all pitted, all pitted and buggy, if there's gold in this, we might really have something awesome here. <laughs> We're about 100 feet away from the hole and if you guys keep your eyes open, prospect looking for float, check that out. Here's a piece you can see a quartz vein running through and this would be enough. We got some vugging, some iron mineralization. This would be enough to tell you to keep looking, look for that source. Then you sample it, try to figure out if it's carrying gold. What is this? Here we got some kind of black, maybe manganese coating happening. That's a very interesting looking piece right there. That almost looks like gold right there. You just never know with these old mines. It's possible they delineated the vein, trenched along it to figure out where it was so they can lay claim, patent it. Maybe it never got worked. Let's hop down in this hole. 
Oh my gosh. Don't trip and fall. I was looking at this while I was walking down into a shaft. <laughs> but this was too interesting. See this black, dark thing? I thought that might have been the vein. That's a silvery black purple, probably manganese coating on a rock, which is also a good indicator. Here we got quartz with iron, some vugging. Ooh, another something over here. Woo, check that out. That's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Here's the timber. We got round nails and then Oh, I got to be careful with that one. This one here is a little bit too deep. It's at least 20 feet if I fell in there. I don't know if I'd get back out. Let's see if we can't get a closer look without falling in. We got a pile of rock randomly sitting over here. The muck dump material is there. This is an odd pile over here, which means it's probably ore or what they were chasing. They come over here in the sun. It certainly looks like it holds promise. Here's a chunk that's brachiated. You can see busted, 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 and cemented back together. Veiny type stuff. Definitely a lot of iron. We got manganese. This is pretty darn interesting looking. This piece right here. Now that's the stuff I'm telling you right here. This is it. This is it right there. Okay, let's see if we can peek down in here without me falling in. I'm gonna come over by this tree. Oh shoot, that tree's not going out of the hole. Damn, you fall way down there. It's on the edge. Uh, looks like we got solid rock here. I think I can stand on that. I'm gonna fish the camera down in there. Whoa. Here's our makeshift. Ooh, there's another. There's another round whittled out board for a windlass. They were planning on going down in here. But they went down about 20, 30 feet and just stopped. I'd definitely like to crawl down in there and see what's going on. That would also be a pretty interesting little kind of hideout bug out for it as well. I don't know why I'm thinking about these things. Maybe because the economy, the world, everybody's going to war and going crazy. Nothing seems to make sense anymore except for nature. And gold. What do you guys think I should do with that cabin and that mine I found a little bit ago? I don't know what it is about exploring, prospecting, being way out here. Can't see, hear anything a man. I can't help but thinking life is good, man. <laughs> I really love doing this stuff. Prospecting and mining is my only true passion. I absolutely love it. Can't live without it. If you guys want to see a bigger haul that we dig out, crush up, smelt, and pour a new bar. Check out the video right here.